Visit pianohooks.com for full lessons and the Piano Hooks Patreon page for more advanced tutorials. For now, here's the simple version. For the song, If the World Were Ending, by J.P. Sachs, we're going to learn the chorus in four parts. The first thing we want to do is locate the middle of our keyboard. On this 88 key keyboard, the middle is a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys. This makes the middle of this 88 key keyboard, and the exact center is the space in between those two groups we are going to focus the right hand on the lower group of two black keys here. For the right hand, we are starting by playing the white key just to the left of the middle group of three black keys on the keyboard, right above the center of the keyboard. For the left hand, we want to find a low group of three black keys, so just lower than the center, and then we're going to go even lower than that. Now, if your keyboard is not big enough for this, you can stay a little bit closer to the right hand, but if you have a large enough keyboard, then let's go one position lower. The left hand will be starting off by playing the bottom black key of this group of three black keys. Part one goes like this. For the right hand, we're playing a consistent rhythm here where we go long, short, long, short. And we do that throughout the entire right hand. So to start off, we're playing the white key to the left of a group of three black keys. Then we step down to play the top black key of this group of two black keys. So we go long, short, long, short, long, short. We did that three times. Long, short. After we've done that three times, long, short, long, short, long, short, we step down to this low black key here, the bottom of this group of two, and we go long, short, and then we come back up to this starting white key. Now when we do that, that's when the left hand comes in. Let's repeat what we have here. So from the start, we'll get our left hand ready here on this low black key. The right hand goes long, short, long, short, long, short. Now we go down, long, short. Both hands play together when the right hand comes back up to this white key. And we go long, short, long, and again. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Hands together. Long, short, long. Part two also starts on the white key just to the left of a group of three black keys here. The left hand is going to step up to play the middle black key of this group of three black keys. Part two sounds like this. So once we have found our starting position, left hand middle black key of a group of three black keys, right hand same as part one, the right hand goes long, short, long, short, only twice. 
steps down, long, short, and then when it comes back up, this is where the left hand plays. So notice part two in the right hand is exactly the same as part one, except we don't do the starting long, short, three times. We only do it twice. So let's try that. Long, short, long, short. We go down now. Long, short, hands together. Long, short, long. And again. So only twice. Long, short, one. Long, short, that was two. Long, short, hands together. Long, short, long. And without any pausing. Long, short, long, short, long, short, hands together, long, short, long. What song should I do next? Leave a comment below. For part three, the right hand is starting off by playing the bottom black key of a middle group of two black keys on the keyboard. And the left hand is playing the white key to the left of that group of three black keys where we started off for part one and two. Part three sounds like this. Once we have found our positions here, the right hand plays this bottom black key once, then jumps up to play the bottom black key of this group of three black keys twice, steps down to the nearest white key, the one we started off in part one with, and plays twice, steps down to this top black key of a group of two black keys, and then back down to the starting position, and this is where the left hand plays. Now the left hand is playing a low white key. So part three sounds like this. With the proper rhythm, the right hand goes long, short, long, short, long, short, and then when it steps down to play long, the left hand plays as well. Long, short, long. And again, so in the right hand, we are playing these three black keys and this one white key. Four keys. Okay, starting position. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Part four is very similar to part three. We have the same starting position for the right hand, but the left hand now jumps up to play the top black key of this group of three black keys. Part four sounds like this. So once we have found the two black keys we are starting on, the right hand repeats this key twice. One, two, jumps up to play the top black key. Jumps up to play the bottom black key of this group of three black keys. And only plays once. Steps down to this nearest white key to play twice. Steps down, and then when it steps down to the starting position, the left hand plays as well. 
And just like part three, we work our way back up to this white key. So let's try that again. We have long, short, long, and we step down. Short, long, short, and then hands together. Long, short, long. So long, short, long, short, long, short, hands together, long, short, long. Take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe.